Let us gather as God's people, taking in the signs all about us of God's presence, the baptistry reminding us of God's redeeming grace, the Bible breaking us into the bread of life, the cross declaring God's official love, the table where the living Christ bids us welcome. God is here. And so let us, as God's people, sing our prayer to the one who first gathers us in. Let us sing. How are you all today? Glad you came up. Do you guys like Once Upon a Time stories? Who likes a Once Upon a Time story? I'm a story. Yeah, uh -huh. you are a story. That's right. Yes, welcome, story. Okay, well, we're not going to talk about dinosaurs today, but it, uh, they were Once Upon a Time too. But this is a different Once Upon a Time story. Pardon? Uh huh. Good stuff. So, I got a Once Upon a Time story for you. Once upon a time, in a land not far away, there were two groups of people. One group had light skin, and the other group had dark skin. Each group had their own places to eat and their own schools. The people with light skin had fine places to eat with wonderful food and fancy plates. The people with dark skin had real good food at their restaurants too, but their plates weren't nearly as nice. The schools for the light-skinned children had new desks and chairs, and enough paper and pencils and crayons for everyone. The schools for the dark-skinned children had old wooden benches and rough tables, and many of the children had nothing to write with. One time, some of the people with dark skin said to some of the people with light skin, we like your schools and restaurants. Can we come and visit yours? And the people with light skin said, No. The people with dark skin said, But yours are so much nicer than ours. That's not fair. And the people with light skin said, Tough. And many people in the land were sad. Then one day, Pastor Martin spoke to the group with dark skin. Now you all know we have Pastor Helen right over here. Well, here's a picture. Here's a picture of Pastor Martin. 
So Pastor Martin said to the folks with, with, uh, with dark skin, he said, God says it's not fair for the people with light skin to have better places to eat and better schools than we have. And God says that things should be fair. And the dark skin people said, yes. And even some of the light skin people said, yes. So Pastor Martin took a group of both kinds of people to see the leaders of the land. And he said, it's not fair that the light-skinned people have better schools and better places to eat than dark-skinned people, and they won't let us visit them. And the leaders of the land said, you're right. So they passed a law that said, from now on, everyone can eat in the same places and go to the same schools, and everything has to be fair in this land. And Pastor Martin was glad, and all the people were glad. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. And you know what? That story is mostly true. And except it's, it's a story about this land that we live in, except we're still trying to figure out some of the happily ever after part. And uh, the, when, when all the people went to talk to the leaders of the land and say, that's not fair, my, my turn story. We said, that's not fair. That happened really 50 years ago this coming Wednesday. It was called the March on Washington. And so we're thankful for all of those good things and thankful for all of our stories. And let's say a prayer together. And I'm, I'm going to say a few words and you all can say them back to me and we'll pray together. Okay? Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for Pastor Martin and for all those who want things to be fair, especially Jesus. Amen. Thank you all for listening to the story, and now we have the peace to offer to the congregation, right? And Pastor Helen, <laughs> on the count of three, right? You, you, you do this, and you use my mic. One, two, three. The peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. Please greet one another with that peace.